Pomegranates. If you're like me, you love pomegranates, how juicy and flavorful they are, how tasty, and they're loaded with nutrients and antioxidants. But when you get a pomegranate, you might wonder, how in the world am I supposed to open this thing so that it doesn't create a gigantic bloody mess everywhere? I'm Cameron, welcome back to the Busy Gardener channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you two ways to open a pomegranate, one that is fast and one that is clean. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm gonna do a taste test of three of the kinds of pomegranates that we're growing here. Let's get busy. Hey, did you know that Busy Gardener members have been shown to be 23% more intelligent than the average viewer? That's true. Click on join below and see if there's a perk that will entice you putting out videos, guides, all sorts of things for members only. Check it out. All right, let's get back to these pomegranates. Well, pomegranates are a fantastic fruit. I know a lot of people do love them. They originated in Persia, which, and I'm half Persians, which gives me an especial affinity for pomegranates. But they can be messy, they can be difficult to open, confusing to open, as well as the seeds sometimes people don't like because they feel like the seeds inside those arils and some cultivars are a little hard. Although that's been bred out of a lot of them now that you can just chew right through them. So pomegranates are a lot of fun. I'm gonna show you first how to open these up the clean way. This is a way that I really enjoy opening because it's so beautiful. And so the first thing you wanna do when you grab your ripe pomegranate is to take the side that has this crown on it, which is where the flower originally was, where it got pollinated, using a nice sharp knife. I like cut, making some cuts around the crown and feel free to cut in a little bit to this because you want to get enough room to separate it. Sometimes you can get this thing to pop straight off. So I'm kind of digging in my hand there. If I can get this to pop straight off, you already see that We've got a bunch of the arils visible. Isn't that beautiful? And as you look inside here, you might notice that there are some lines. Those white lines are essentially like a sheet of the pit that's in there. And so what we're gonna do next is make our cuts along those lines. So we're gonna follow where we see those lines of pith. And then we're gonna be able to pop this open. I'll show you how. So using the knife, I'm just gonna be cutting through the skin, going all the way down looking for every area that that pith is going down. And following that, it's kind of a nice guide. It tells you exactly where to cut. And so we get close. And what we do now, and this is really the fun part, I'm gonna put my bowl right here. <laughs> so when you pop it open, you see that this exposes most of the arils and leaves you with just this pithy middle. And so what we wanna do is we wanna take and you can with your hand even just wiggle that pith. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? So gorgeous. This thing is just loaded with beautiful ripe arils. And now what we want to do is you can just eat this however you want. This is the clean way. I like to sit there while I'm watching TV. I'll have a bowl for the waste on one side and a bowl for the arils on the other. And I'll just sit there and just by popping these off, just by wiggling these things, I can get these to just fall out. And so it kind of ends up being a soothing thing. I don't know, cathartic? where I'm able to just process and just allow these things to fall through. They should usually just pop out and so, it takes a little bit of practice to get here, but that's how you open a pomegranate. And this is definitely the cleanest way. You notice there's no juice on me at all. I probably wouldn't wear a white shirt while I was doing this, at least in the first few times, but this is a lot of fun to eat a pomegranate this way. And over time, you end up with a bowl full of clean, clear arils that you can just eat along the way. And it's really good. Now I'd like to show you the second way of opening your pomegranate. This second way is made for speed. We're gonna be juicing a bunch of these pomegranates and making some pomegranate jelly, which is fantastic. And so I wanna be able to move quickly. This would take me hours and hours to do if I were to gonna do the clean method. So I'm gonna do the fast method and I'll show you how to do that. What you do is you want your pomegranate, a sharp knife, a bowl, and some sort of heavy spoon, whether it be a wooden spoon or like I've got this little silicone spatula here, it's got some good weight to it. So what you're gonna do is take your knife and cut along the hemisphere of the pomegranate, straight through. <laughs> and you can see that already this is gonna be a, a more messy prospect. The best thing to do is to take and first pop your pomegranate open a little bit, breaking it up a little bit, getting rid of some of the stuff that's holding it here. 
you wanna have your hand, look how messy this already is. It's gonna go fast though. You take this, hold it upside down. It's already broken up a little bit. And I would recommend doing this outside. There's a reason we're out here. I did this before and the inside of my kitchen looked like a murder scene. <laughs> so I learned it now I'm outside where I can hose things off. But you wanna do is just start smacking your pomegranate and a bunch of the air rolls will just come out. I'm being pretty gentle with this because there's already juice flying everywhere. I'm gonna be using a larger bowl, or actually in my case, I'm gonna use a large bucket where I can have my hand inside there because the juice wants to just go everywhere, especially on a nice ripe pomegranate. So I'm being really gentle right here. Usually when I'm moving for speed, I'm just whacking away at this thing. The arrows fall out. I'm not trying to get every single one out. I take this, the few that are left in here, I give them to the chickens. They love it. But again, you take this, taking one, and I'm breaking it apart a little bit, exposing those inner arrows will allow them to fall out more easily. That's how I've got it open. And here it is at full speed. Gonna rotate it around in your hand, flip it around. And in just, I mean, 30 seconds, you can get an entire pomegranate done. Again, there are a few arrows, you're not gonna be perfect in this one, but that is much, much faster. But look, it's already splattered juice everywhere. So again, go with a larger bowl. Those are the two main ways to open your pomegranate. One is really clean and methodical. The other is fast and efficient, but very messy. I wanted to show you the three different types of pomegranates now that we are growing here. We're growing Parfianca pomegranate, Wonderful pomegranate, and Eversweet pomegranate. And they all have different characteristics. I'm gonna do a taste test and describe them briefly for you now. Okay, we've got our three types of pomegranate here. We have Wonderful, we have Parfianca, and we have Eversweet. And as you can see from even the colors, they look very different from each other. Wonderful is the first that I'm gonna try. Wonderful is the kind that if you're gonna buy a pomegranate at the store, it's likely a wonderful pomegranate. It's the most widely planted cultivar. It's got very bold flavor generally. If you're gonna have juice, pomegranate juice, that's gonna usually be pressed from a wonderful pomegranate. Even looking at these arrows, these are big and juicy. It's coming from a really established tree. And so let's taste it. The seeds are a little bit hard, not too difficult to bite through, kind of like grape seeds, really. So they're there. Man, the flavor is really a bold, upfront flavor. Pretty strong flavor, very pomegranate flavor if you're thinking of pomegranate. This is probably the flavor that you're thinking of. But really tasty, tried and true. This middle one is Parfianca. And Parfianca is a newer cultivar. And if you're gonna grow a single pomegranate in your yard, this is usually the one that is recommended because it's got a lot of the things that are great about Wonderful, a lot of the flavor is there, but the seeds are pretty much non-existent. And that's usually something you only find in a very mild pomegranate like we'll see in this sweet one here. And so I'm gonna taste these now. Mmm, whoa. Seeds were hardly even there, certainly compared to this Wonderful. The flavor is not as strong, at least on this one, maybe a little bit more tart, less bitter than this than this wonderful but pretty tasty. Now let's try the sweet. These light arrows are gonna tell me it's probably a pretty mild one. Very soft seeds and very, very, it's not, it's not flavorless, it's just much more mild flavored. It's not as upfront as these others. Maybe a little bit like, um, almost like a very mild berry punch or something like that. And something almost a little cucumbery about it. It's refreshing in that sense. This is nice, I feel like I could eat a whole bowl of these and be really refreshed. Of the three, I would say that I, I probably favor Parfianca for the reason that it's got a lot of the flavor of the wonderful, but with the lack of seeds, apparent seeds like the sweet has. But they're all kind of different, so hey, plant three of them. <laughs> My kids are crazy about pomegranates. All right, charge! <laughs> Yeah. Well, I hope this has helped you realize two different ways to open up a pomegranate, a clean way and a fast way. What methods have I missed here? What types of cultivars have you found to be your favorite pomegranates? Put those in the comments below. I'd love to see what you say. Well, I appreciate you tuning into this episode of the Busy Gardener channel. If you haven't subscribed, we'd love for you to do that. Hit like, share this thing too. That always helps us get the word out about what we're doing here. 
Whether you've got one pomegranate to open and juice or 500, until next time, stay busy. Mm -hmm.